Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. Today we're looking at the radial menu script. This is a great script for if you cannot remember keyboard shortcuts, set up this so that you only need to remember one shortcut and then you have instant access to a variety of actions. If you play video games, you probably already are familiar with radial menus. You'll find them in Grand Theft Auto for the radio stations and the weapon wheel. It's the weapon wheel in Doom. It's uh, various things in many other games where you hold down a button, press a direction, and it goes to either a sub menu or it selects an item for you. We don't see this kind of menu in anything other than games. And that's a shame because this can be extremely powerful. And this free script included with Repack, you should already have Repack and uh, check out my videos on Repack if you are not familiar. But this is part of the Reteam bundle and uh, that's one of the default ones included with Repack. I'll close that for now and we'll open up the action list and just type in radial. There are two scripts here, radial menu setup and radial menu. So the first one I've assigned to shift E and the second one I've assigned to E. So we're going to use shift E to set up and configure our radial menu. And we'll press E when we want to activate it. Let's first show it in action. I'm going to hold down the letter E. That brings up the radial menu. I can choose a direction. So if I want to affect the track that is selected, in the center we're seeing uh, the submenu or a preview of what's next in the menu. So I'll left click on track. Now there's a new menu that pops up. And wherever I put my mouse is going to uh, make that change. If I let go of E right now, We'll go to set color, I can choose my color, and now that track is colored. we do that again, I'm holding down E, I go to recording, because there's a submenu I left click there. I can arm all tracks by just releasing the letter E. Really simple, there's a lot of different functions already included with the script. Let's look at the config menu now. So there are several different tabs, menu, context, swiping, global options, and help. So if you need any help, aside from this video, there are lots of tips here as well. We're going to start on the menu tab. There are 20 menus already included with various actions. We can select one from the list and we'll update the preview here on the left. So that's the track context, the view context, MIDI context, record start. You can change the different colors of each menu. So if I'm on the, let's see, the view, I want a different background color, I can do that. And after you've changed the color or uh, reassigned things, I find that it helps to just cycle through some of the tabs. Uh, it doesn't always update immediately. So holding down E, going to view, I can see that there is a sub menu here, so I'm going to left click. And now I see that it's pink. If I go to Track Manager, uh, nothing popped up in the center, so there's no submenu. I can just release E and it opened up the Track Manager. So if we don't like that color, we can go back to using the global colors. Now, if we want to change the global colors, that's on the global tab. That's these colors right here. So back to the menu, I can select one of the buttons and that will run the uh, action right from here. We shift click a button in the radial menu. That will enable it for editing. You can choose a different action. In fact, we can have up to three different actions on a single button um, using left, right, or middle click. Uh, we can also have different colors for these buttons. Now over to the context tab, and this is where we can pull up a different menu depending on where the mouse is in Reaper's interface. So instead of bringing up the main menu each time, whether I'm on the on a track or, or the transport, we can set this up to be different. So transport, there isn't a transport menu, but there is a record mode menu. And I think that would be useful to have on the uh, transport. So when I go to uh, 13, I go to context, transport, and I'll type in 13. And for the track. I want on menu one, context one, 
So when I'm hovering over the track control panel and I, ha I tap E, it's going to bring up the track menu. So I've got record arm, automation modes, inserting track from templates, setting color, icons, uh, the envelope menu, and selecting all items. When I'm over the transport bar, the top of the window, it goes to the different recording modes. Radio menu can also be used from the MIDI editor. So let me open up the MIDI editor by double clicking a MIDI item. You might find that when you're using the MIDI editor with the script that the key doesn't trigger what you expect. Radial menu isn't accessible here. If we search for radial, it doesn't come up. And if we search for E, E isn't assigned to anything. But what we can do is look for pass through, pass through key to main window. This is just slightly different than assigning a normal action. Essentially, when I press this key, it's going to trigger something from the main menu rather than the MIDI editor menu. So I press E, click OK. And now when I go to the MIDI editor and press E, it brings up the radio menu. But let's set that up so that I think number eight is MIDI. No, number seven is MIDI. So go to context, MIDI editor, type it seven. I'll just toggle these a couple times. And we go here. Now I've got my MIDI editor menu. So I can use the radial menu to set the grid size. Set this to quarter note. Grid size, set this back to 16th. For me, that's faster than going through these tiny little menus down here. And especially once I get used to this, I think I'm going to be using this quite a lot. One other thing I will show you is the options tab of the radio menu setup. Uh, so these are my settings. At the mouse cursor, just run the action and run the highlighted action. So if your behavior is different or you want something a little bit different, then these are the settings to change. And then there's also things like importing and exporting your settings. So that's it. That's where I'll leave it for today. Please check out Radial Menu. It's included free with Repack. If you like it and find it helpful, give a donation to Lakasana. This is a really awesome script. It's working really well, and uh, it's incredibly powerful, as you can see. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.